Hey everybody, Jay the Whiskey Pirate here. I'm taking a quick look at Ardenbergen Distillery and their 80 small batch release. This whiskey has been in the States now for a couple of years and is made up of two different kinds of spirits. Unpeated spirit and peated spirit. They're matured separately and then brought together. Combination of RX bourbon barrels and some X sherry wine casks. So what does that give to the whiskey? Well, it does quite a few things. This is the kind of whiskey, I think, that just checks all the right boxes. You get that peat, you get a little bit of sweetness, you get a little bit of spice, and you get this awesome salt and pepper note to it. So if you're a regular Talisker drinker and enjoy the Talisker 10, that salt pepper note that you find in that whiskey, I think this is something that is gonna be right in that same wheelhouse for you. If you're a Springbank drinker and a Springbank drinker for the right reasons, not just hoarding bottles, you're going to see some of that funkiness quality too that you would think and consider with other whiskeys from Campbelltown. So I did say peat. There is a little bit of peat, but it's a very, very approachable kind of peat. It's interesting enough for regular peated whiskey drinkers to, to grab onto, and it's something that's easy enough for someone who's just starting to get into peated whiskey to not be fully overwhelmed with. You certainly know it's there, but it's not going to hit you in the face, say like a Laphroaig or an Ardbeg, although those are two of my favorite Isla distilleries making peated whiskey. Save that for another time. Other things to notice in it, well, you're going to have some dark citrus notes. That sherry wine cask influence is going to give you some of that some of that baking spice and some of those dark red fruit flavors. Even for someone like a rye drinker, I think this has something to grab onto. So you don't necessarily have to be a full-time single malt scotch drinker to really be able to appreciate what's going on here. The distillery is doing some great stuff. They're incredibly green in their production methods and being sustainable. They're also doing some very cool things with technology, but I'm going to save all that for a different video. Bottom line, this is an extremely tasty whiskey and it's got a lot to offer a lot of different whiskey drinkers out there. Pretty much readily available now, about $60 for a bottle depending on where you might live. If you've already had a chance to try this, let me know what you think in the comments. Please like, follow, subscribe, do all the things, and I'll see you again with more. Cheers.